So welcome back to episode number two of the Scottish Road to Glory save with Edinburgh City. And we left it at this point here with the offer from Partick Thistle for Conrad Balatoni. And I'm still not 100% sure about what I want to do, if I'm completely honest with you. He's a 28-year-old centre-back. I have offered him another contract which he's accepted, I believe, or he's like about to accept. And it's 17.5k a week, and I think... 17.5k uh, transfer fee, sorry. And I think I'm going to reject it because he is pretty much one of our best players. And I reckon I can sell him for a similar amount next season. I mean, it is obviously really good to sell him to a club like Falkirk in a uh, party this was sorry in the Labrix Championship but I think we'll be okay and I hope that he's not too mad at me for that and the assistant manager is confirmed and yeah that looks decent we've got a press conference to do and I'll see you guys in a sec so here we go the first game of the season it is against Motherwell we are like complete outsiders here I want to see if we've got is there a season preview no there's not any form of season preview but when we look at Group H, we've got Airdrie, who are in the Ladbrokes League 1. We have Dunfermline in the Championship. We have Motherwell in the Premiership and Stranra in League 1. So we are, by far and away, predicted to come last, pretty much, in this group. And we do have a left winger now that we can actually play. Ismail Ben Awubi. And look at that. That makes our team look a lot better. There's not really any greens on the pitch now. So here we go, this is the team that we're going to be going with for the first game of the season. It's a very, very risky team, I think. I might play Ryan Adamson, actually, with that bit of potential. Just seems a bit more useful than Craig Antel, maybe? Callum Antel, there we go. And yeah, it's quite a simple tactic, I guess. Not really too much to it, and we're just going to hope it will get the job done. I do think we do want to buy... Uh, an anchor man, another sort of CDM. I have scouted a few more, and hopefully some of them will be decent. But yeah, we just don't really have anyone better than Andy Black right now, which is a shame because he's not the best. He does have a good potential, so I hope he will be able to improve. But let's get into this game. It will be a tough one, and let's hope for the best. Something which I didn't actually really think to have a look at was how low on energy some of our players are and oh my god we just hit the post there with Harris I'm not sure of his first name I was gonna try to say it but yeah I don't know his first name but yeah quite a few of our players are actually really low on energy uh, like some of them I'm talking down at around 80% at the start of the match you can see Liam Brown here is already at 71% some nice play from us and then just a bit of hoof ball for some reason but up until then it was nice play we've won the ball back here Ben Ubi out to Crane into Sinclair. I didn't actually remember us having someone called Sinclair, so that's interesting. Thompson back out to Ben Ubi. They were, that would be a name for Scottish people to try and pronounce. I wonder how they'd say it. There's a ball in. Unlucky. Clearance though. Oh, he's gone past two players here, Long has. And. Interesting. It's just a bit of hoof ball. Long goes past his man. And then what happens to the goalkeeper here? That is very poor. I'm sorry, that's just really poor goalkeeping. It might just be time to sort of sub out these two guys at some point because... Oh my god, that's that's an own goal. Conrad Balatoni. And i tell you what, I think it's too late to win this game anyway. I'm just going to sub out these guys here. We'll get, bring on Logan Mai and try and get him a bit of match fitness. And Aiden Wilson needs to come off for... Chris Kane, I guess. And then... Craig Thompson can come off for Kieran Stewart. This is just a bit comedical, you know. He's just walking and then the ball just hits his leg and goes in. That's standard FM, isn't it? Here we go, another Motherwell attack. They're just sort of bombarding us nowadays, but you'd expect that from a team that's three divisions above us and they're a professional team. And, that you know, the divisions have a bit more gapping between them in Scotland, obviously, because there's not many of them. And there was some decent play from Motherwell, but the header just over the bar. Here we go. We've got an opportunity here. It's a decent ball in, but they've managed to clear it away, and they're going to have a counter attack here, it looks like. Who is this? Devante Cole, shot block. Oh my god, what a tackle from number four there. That's a great ball. That's such a good ball in from Carroll, and Devante Cole is there, and as we sort of suspected here, we are getting thrashed. 
Damn, they did not like that. It says, tell the boys the ref is worth it, if we're excellent. And I said we were the underdogs and you gave it your best. They did not like that at all. And look at that, that's our record attendance with 1,128. So here we go, Jane and Jamie McKernan even. Yeah, he's not great, but do I want him as a backup is the question. Who is my backup at that position? It's some. It's this dude that can play right back and everything. And I tell you what, yeah, I don't think there's any point really. So we found two that seem interesting. We've got this guy here, Connor Duffy, who looks really good actually, and I thought he was a centre mid, that's why I clicked on him, but he's not, so I'll leave him alone. Might add him to the shortlist. And where is he? Here he is, Scott Robertson. He's an attacking midfielder. He'd be useful to have there as a central midfielder attack backup, and let's see if they will accept a Anyway, so Conrad Bellatoni has agreed the contract offer, which is nice to see. The one thing we do have to remember is his match highest earner clause. That is going to be key. We need to offer him a new contract before we offer someone else more than £400 a week. And then finally, I believe, we have these games coming up. I think I'm going to play, the, uh, play up to... I play up to here. Yeah, I'll play this game on camera. I'll quickly play this one off camera though. Um, and yeah, then we'll come back for this game here. So yeah, see you guys in a sec. So we finally got something that I'm very happy to show, and that is if we look at the inbox, we have a few scouts. This one here was actually blocked, which I was really annoyed at because I accidentally selected him as a reserves coach not a normal coach but if we look at the staff we can see we have two coaches we look at all this the highest in the league the fitness coaching isn't the best and the defending coaching is terrible but apart from that it's really good we've got really good judging ability uh, we don't actually have a physio at all which we do need to get at some point but yeah, I'm just happy that we have all these good stats over here and all these here too. Um, I think there is something here. Yeah, coaching. We can have a look here. Obviously, these ones are increased a lot by my value. But yeah, we've got the assistant man manager, Nick Magashi, who has some decent values. Not the best, obviously. Anti Collett, who has really good goalkeeping attributes. Such good goalkeeper attributes. And then Colin Jack. Who's, you know, not the best. He's a bit of a overall scout. I think he was already here when we started. But yeah, he's just an overall coach. And obviously we'll be able to replace him at some point. Try and get maybe a defensive coach in his place. But yeah, and then we've got a fitness coach coming in. So that will bump up, which will be nice to see. And we have our two scouts, which has got this a lot higher. If we go over here to recruitment team. Yeah, you can see Jim Jeffries was already here. Kevin Naismith is the first one that we signed, basically just for the 9 and 7. That was sort of the best we could get for our money. And then Kenny McDonald, 7 and 8, but also 30 in adaptability, which I thought was quite nice to see. Only a £90 a week, both of them. And what's this? An offer for sure. Gonna ever make the team, is he? I don't think. Because these four will get used in the centre-back, but he's sort of the fifth choice, and he's only on £25 a week. It's obviously not a lot. So I think I'll probably reject him just because I might have to use him. And they're not giving us any money for him. But anyway, the game against Stranra, you wanted to know how it went on against Airdrie. We drew 1-1 and lost on penalties. I thought we were going to win, you know, after two penalties, but we didn't score another penalty, which was not nice to see. We started a few different players in that game so that we can have some energy for this one here against Stranra because... I think if we're going to win any game this season, it should be this one against Stranra. We sort of put up a decent fight against Airdrie here in third. And then Stranra all the way down here, almost going to get relegated. We might have to play them in the relegation playoff, you never know. So it'll be nice to get one over them this early on. So Pearson cannot play. It's going to have to be Ismail Ben-Obi. An inverted winger. 
Pearson can come off for Alex Harris. Bring Harris back on. We will rest Blair Henderson for Scott Shepard. Mark Laird can come off for Liam Brown again. And is there anyone else who's quite low? Callum Crane is quite low. Who can play there? Liam Henderson can. And then we can put the other centre back back in. And yeah, I think that's where we'll go from. Stewart can come back out because Craig Thompson is better. And he's rested up. And yeah, we'll give Antel a game, I guess. Oh, Antel's improved apparently. Cool. So we actually got one point for our penalty win. Oh, yep, I've still got the... Highlights on super fast. I always do this when it's a penalty shootout, just so that you don't take ages to do everything. Um, and I think that was a good save from Antel then. I didn't really get to see it fully, did we? Here we go. Let's see what we can do over here. We got Ben Awubi on the wing out wide. Nice ball in. It's through to Sinclair. And he can't really do too much with it. Balotelli only should get back. Well, the goalkeeper. Oh, good touch from Shepard. I tell you what, we've got our own attack here from that. Just clear it straight up to Shepard. Thompson, can he whip it in? Yes, he, oh, it's a goal. Scott Shepard has scored, and that is our second goal of this season. The first goal on camera. Balatoni got the first goal in the other match, if you didn't see. And it's some really nice play. We have been playing really good football, which has been surprising me. The way that we've been passing it about, and the way that we've been so patient, and creating the opportunity without hitting the side netting, is just a joy to see. Another one straight off, oh my god, if he can find number 11, he can't, he's wasted the opportunity, but like, I think it's Harris was in so much space there. Sinclair, can you have a pop? No, he's going to go back to Brown, all the way back to the defence. Sort of come back and try again, Henderson into Brown again, it's Shepard, Sinclair, go on. Oh, Harris back into Shepard, back to Sinclair, such good football. And just wide of the post. Shepard on the ball here, lovely turn to, oh my god, Scott Shepard is staking a claim instead of Blair Henderson. I tell you what, this is a nice ball from Henderson here. Scott Shepard with his turn just sort of makes the defender and just makes go past him with ease. And it's a lovely finish into that top corner. Here we go, Harris into Thompson. It's a good ball to the back, but oh, Ben Oubi's at the post. That's unlucky. Shepard now. Can you do it since Harris off? Oh, that's beautiful. Alex Harris with such a nice chest and then round the defender and sticks it in the corner. That is, We are playing fantastic football over here. Scott Shepard once again in the mix with an assist this time. Great ball in. Harris just took it round the defender and that's a lovely finish. Another, another, another goal. Scott Shepard. He's, he's got a hat-trick. He's actually scored a hat-trick. I might have to start him in the first league game if he keeps this up. Scott Shepard's got it once again in the attacking half of the pitch. Scott Sinclair in so much space. What a ball through to Harris. Just wide of the post. Harris with the ball. Out wide. Into Laird. Back out to Thompson. Once again, this is such good play. Logan Martin. Oh my god. All the way back to Stewart. And Laird's just hit the post with an absolute rocket. Here we are again. Just... Dominating, what a goal from Jordan Sinclair. We're just dominating. We've played so, so well. And I tell you what, okay, no, we're not going to qualify, but like, we're two points off Motherwell and two points off Airdrie, which is just insane. Not Airdrie, Dunfermline, that's the one. Oh, that's poor. Poor defending, but we get away from, with it. Against better sides, that might have been a goal. Cove Rangers are by far and away the favourites, if you guys didn't know, for this league. Um, we're the second favourites at evens. Cove Rangers are 1-5, to five, so 5 times more likely than us to win the title. So they should run away with it. Let's see what actually happens, though. If we play like this, we might have a chance. So it is such good play. When we start playing our football, they just can't get near us. Martin and Shepard into Laird. Can he play out wide to Henderson? He can. Harris has missed the ball and it's offside. Okay, that's depressing. Look at that. 5-0 win. Only 7 shots on target. That is just... We were outstanding. Just no other words to say it. And obviously we won't beat Dunfermline, which will be a shame. But we have... We've done well. The objective was to be competitive. And I hope 
yeah, they are pleased. So I was going to say, surely they can be happy with that because we played so well. Just so, so well. Scott Shepard was absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to say you were, you were absolutely superb. He's got perfect uh, morale, which is great to see. And yeah, we will be playing this game against Dunfermline off camera. We probably won't be qualifying, which is unfortunately. But then the game against Queen's Park, we'll be back for. And hopefully it will be a nice game in Ladbrokes League 2. Queen's Park predicted 7, so it should be a win for us. But you can see this sort of area here is very close. 1st to 5th. So these guys should all be good teams. It will be interesting to see who is the best out of us for. And you'd expect Cove Rangers to win the title. They only just came up as well um, from the regional leagues. It doesn't even say their league history. So it'll be interesting to see how well we can do. But anyway, that will be it for this episode. You can see third place ahead of two Scottish League 1 teams. We cannot be sad about that. That's really, really proud. We should be really, really proud, sorry about that obviously losing out to Airdrie on penalties if we won that we'd be on five points just one off Motherwell and Dunfermline but anyway thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time